I think in the end, the adventure within is the most valuable adventure. Welcome back to Solo Van Life. I hope you've had a nice week. My microphone went out on me in this video, so I'm going to try to play narrator here. We're starting off with these strange chocolates that I had to try, which are lemon co cola filled. And they taste exactly like you'd think. Way too sweet. I ended up throwing them away. They're way too much um, sweetness, but I like to try new weird little things. We left off with me finding this German campsite, and it's my first German campsite. I'm going to chill, make some food, I need to use some Wi-Fi and charge things and also get a shower, which is all available at a lot of campsites in Germany, which is very nice because while you're traveling on the road, those things become luxuries. My diet is very simple whenever I'm traveling and I like to keep it simple just in general, mostly just rice and vegetables, and then I try to get in some eggs or something for protein. This is my first time also camping on this stove, which is a normal butane stove that I was used to using back when I was traveling in the US. It's not different. I don't usually need a full setup for a kitchen, but it's really nice to have if you want like some actual cooked food. I think it's good to continue to do those little routines and those things that make you quote unquote civilized, I guess, just to keep your morale up while you're traveling. The final dish turned out to be rice with cranberries and nuts, avocado, and some tomatoes, which was very satisfying for me. Oh my, that looks pretty yummy. Let's try it. It's plain, but it's really good. Sleeping wasn't too bad. It's always nice that I can plug in my fan whenever I'm sleeping. It's one of the things that I've always had while sleeping throughout my entire life is I need a fan. And I can sleep or try to sleep without one, but I get way better sleep if I have a fan blowing directly on my face. I do have a morning routine that I go through but I'm not gonna bore you with it. The main thing is that I always put sunblock on everywhere at the start of the day. I've actually just realized that I've never stayed at a campground like this with other people by myself before. Like this just feels new and it is. It's be very quiet because it's just a small campground. I'm not used to this in America. Campgrounds are huge. Alright, it's time to leave. I'm going to go to Azalea, Azalea in Rhododendron Park. It's about an hour and a half away from here. And I also have to get gas for the first time. Uh, not gas, diesel. Um, and they do it a little bit different here, so I'm a little intimidated by the gas stations. Okay, this is our first time getting going to the gas station to get... Going to the fuel station to get diesel. Oh, I'm so nervous and I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't want to look stupid. Just a 
pump it first, so. Diesel. Did it. It's actually very efficient and very easy. But oh my god, it was expensive. I don't even think that filled it up. Let's see how full I got it. Okay. okay, it did kind of fill it up. 70, 75 dollars for half a tank. But to be fair, this is very fuel efficient. Like it, I've I've driven so much and it's only used half half the tank, so it, it's very efficient. Having a nice, lovely, quiet walk. I'm gonna find this very magical fairy tale looking bridge. It's the main reason they came here, which is like an hour and a half drive. I like little places like this where it's just chill and you can find parking easily. And they pay like $4 in parking. This is gonna be TMI for like half of my, more than half my audience to be honest, but I don't care. Um, when you're traveling as a girl and you start your period, it is a consideration, it is something to take consideration because how I'm traveling, there's, there's no bathrooms anywhere. There's no bathrooms. I can't find any, like there's none in the grocery store and unless I have like a hotel or I had to like pay at the other one, but then I ran out to the bathroom more than once. <laughs> So it's something that most people don't think about because there's always access to bathrooms when you live like a normal life, but um, yeah. So I have just been trying to find a bathroom somewhere and I have leaked everywhere. I'm just gonna say it, we are honest here. So I um, I have not, like I, my period came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. Like I just had to get a hotel because it, it's that big of a hassle. So I'm gonna go check into my the cheapest hotel I could find. It's a humbling experience, I'll tell you. All is well, that ends well. This has ended just fine. This hotel room is cute. It's right by some water, and it was pretty cheap considering it's a Friday. I did not plan on getting a hotel room tonight. It was not in the cards. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to do van life for free. Sometimes, like I said, you gotta be gentle on yourself. We're in a new country. We're trying our best. We have things we need to consider. Anyways, I'll show you this little hotel room. It's out in the middle of nowhere, Germany, and it was nice and cheap. Yeah, basics. Good for me. But look at this, We've got some classic mineral water. Cute. Oh, is it? Oh, it's sparkling water. Not my favorite, but I'm thirsty, so it'll do. Gotta stay hydrated. It has been very, very hot and very humid. And I've been adjusting to it well. Sometimes you just have to ignore the temperatures and let your body do what your body's going to do, like Wim Hof style. We're capable of so much more than we think. And if we dwell on it, it's just gonna make it worse and worse. So just kind of embrace it. Just let it do what it's gonna do. You, know, you have to make choices when you're on the road. There's a lot of choices and decisions you have to make. And it's exhausting making so many decisions, but just make the best decision you can. A lot of places in Germany, they don't really have AC. So it's cooler in here than it is outside, but it's still very hot. And most hotels and stuff that I stay at here, is no, there's no AC. Driving actually takes a lot longer here because I don't know the speed limit. I, I have no idea what the speed limit ever is. And everyone's always passing me or I'm, I don't ever feel like I'm going the right speed limit because I know that they enforce it very strictly with machines in some places. But in other places, it just feels like they have the speed sign, but everyone just goes faster than it, or they don't have the speed, and I can't tell if it's whenever there's no speed limit or whenever people just intuitively know, intuitively know what speed it's supposed to be. Anyways, cool enough. Finding 
Wi-Fi and bathrooms around here is very difficult. And here in Germany, places where you can park in a camper van or a, an RV are called Stehplatz, um, basically a parking space. But a bit more than that, they're parking space that you can park in like overnight. Um, I like the German language because everything kind of sounds like you'd think like Stehplatz is like stay parking. <laughs> As a, as a woman traveling alone, you know, there's things, different things you have to consider than if it were a man. Uh, actually, I went the wrong way and went down this really weird road but I wanted to be in these trees are so cool of course my microphone stopped working here again but I was explaining that I got this campsite for two nights and it's very nice it's right beside the lake it has like a bar and restaurant it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere but it's like a glamping experience and they have places for vans to park but also like big glamping round tents which looked really cool kind of wanted to do one but we're just sticking to van life it's much cheaper i also can plug in and i have work to do uh, i really want to want it to have wi-fi but again no luck with that i know it seems like i have a very carefree free life but i do have a lot of work that i need to be doing consistently that requires a lot of wi-fi um, even while I'm traveling, I need to be working and editing, so I do have to take the time to do that to upload these videos for you guys, and I hope you appreciate them. I'm going to end this video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's see what adventures we get into. I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you soon.